A romance can be expensive from flowers to jewelry to nice dinners. But tonight, one family is questioning how much money their dad spent on his girlfriend. That's because he's 85 years old and the amount has a whole lot of zeros behind it. Here's KCTV5's investigative reporter, Angie Racono. Almost $200,000 in 14 months. That's what a family says their 85 year old father gave away to a woman who lives in another state and they are outraged. You won't see that senior in this report because his family is concerned he's vulnerable and naive, but you will meet Rita because we wanted to hear her side of the story. My name is Angie Ricono. I'm with KCTV5. Are you Rita? Yeah. Okay, Rita, is this your signature? on these checks. What is this all about? This is Rita Harrington, the woman behind these signatures and these photos. We met her in person, left messages. If you could please return my phone call, I'd appreciate it. Emails and even wrote her a letter. We wanted her to have every opportunity to respond to this. Rita, how could you do this to an 85 year old, twice widowed, Korean War era veteran who's had a stroke who's going to need this money for his own care. Shame on you. Dave lives in Chicago. His father lives here in Johnson County, Missouri. At 85, he lives by himself on a farm and decided to meet someone on Match.com. He met Rita Harrington. When anybody walks into the room and he's talking to her, the conversation terminates. So. This isn't normal. Dave says he became alarmed when he found this notarized document. He says his father told him it was created at the suggestion of Rita. To whom it may concern, let it be known that Rita Harrington does not owe me any money as of this date or in the past or for any future transfer of funds. All financial aid and help given to her was done so as a gift to her out of my love for her. And she owes me nothing in return for any of it. I said, Dad, so how much money have you given her? And he said, well, a little over 14,000. Dave says he discovered the total is much higher. I've been able to document an amount of $193,000. Dave found the checks to prove it. This one is a speedy cash. Others are written directly to Rita Harrington. There are more than 30 checks with her name on the front and back. And here's this check for $26,000 written to Marshall Motor Company. I'm like, really, Dad? You bought her a car? Dave says he tried to reason with his father. Then he contacted everyone he could think of, including the FBI, the IRS, Salina Police, the Johnson County Sheriff, the Kansas Department of Revenue, and the Elder Abuse Hotline. But moving forward requires a person to admit they are a victim. Unless he's willing to testify, there's not a lot that we can do. The FBI warns seniors are perfect targets because they have nest eggs, are generally trusting and polite, and fail to report crimes out of embarrassment and confusion. Rita has never been charged with any crime, but don't you want to hear her side of this story? We did, so we drove to Salina, Kansas. My name is Angie Ricono. I'm with KCTV5. Are you Rita? Yeah. Okay, Rita, is this your signature? on these checks. What is this all about? We were contacted by a family who's concerned that their father, who's 85, has given you almost $200,000. It wasn't that much. It wasn't that much. How much was it? Because he gave us I all of this know, statements. I don't know, but I'm not going to talk to you right now. I don't know what this, I, I, I'm not going to talk to you. I don't even know who you are. My name is Angie Ricano. I'm with KCTV5 News. I'm a reporter. No, I'm not talking and to you. And the family. No, please. Can you explain why please. he gave you this much money? Would you please go away? Rita was done talking, but check out what's in the garage. There's a new Jeep, courtesy of Dave's dad. Well, I saw a confession. <laughs> um, it wasn't that much. This is not love. True love doesn't do this to one another. It is absolutely inexcusable that people could get away with doing this kind of thing to our elderly. Dave and his wife say they never suspected their father would get romantically involved through a dating website and give away so much money. A very real and sad part of this story is that there are strained relationships all around. Dave's father is angry that he contacted police and other authorities. Dave says if his father is watching, he wants him to know that he loves him. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.